All right, now moving to the last question, again related to error, and I'm in no mood to read all this statement which is given in the paragraph because this is a generic statement, a generic definition of how the error is defined and how are the errors propagated. So there is no any specific information related to the given numerical right now. So let's simply bypass it. And here is the numerical. In an experiment, the initial number of radioactive nuclei is 3,000, what we call as N0. And it is found that 1,000 plus minus 40 nuclei decayed in the first one second. Now you need to remember, this is the number of nuclei decayed. This is not the remaining one, be careful. N0 e raised to the power minus lambda t is the number of nuclei remaining, while here, this is the decayed one. That's not a problem. You simply subtract by N0, you'll get. And we need to calculate the error in decay constant. So let's try to see. The first thing is say, I will be defining N as the number of nuclei which has been decayed. So that is equal to N0, 1 minus E raised to the power minus of lambda times T. Reason being straightforward, N0 is the initial number of nuclei, N0 e raised to the power minus lambda t is the number of nuclei remaining, so the subtracted one, that will give me the number of nuclei which is decayed. Let's make some simple calculation here, and that will give me N by N0 is 1 minus e raised to the power minus of lambda t. And further, let's try to see this. The expression is quite simple. That is going to give me 1 minus n by n naught is e raised to the power minus lambda t. And this is going to give me log of n naught minus of n by n naught equals to minus of lambda times t. And if you use the property of the log slightly, that's log of n0 divided by n0 minus n equals to lambda times t, all right? So that's a simple property that we have used. Further, it's time to go for the derivative and we'll suitably put into the definition of error. So now what we can do is that log n0 minus of log n0 minus of n that is equal to lambda t. Now, let's put the differentiation operation here. Since this is constant, that's going to be zero. And this is going to be dn by n naught minus of n, and that will be t into d lambda. Well, for the error part, we can replace that d lambda by delta lambda. So here comes delta n by t n naught minus of n equals to delta lambda. Now let's see the value. If you see the value here, you'll be getting initial n naught, that is of course equals to 3000, and the number of nuclei which has decayed, which has been represented by n here, is 1000 plus minus 40. So here, the idea is very simple. You could see n naught is 3000 while n is 1000 plus minus 40. So now things are so clear in front of you. Delta n is quite obviously equals to 40. The time is one second, so that's no point putting there. n naught minus n if you do, the value you need to put is 2000 and that comes out to be delta lambda. All right, so here is the value, 40 divided by 2000, and that would, of course, be equals to 0 0.02. So for question number two, option number C is the correct option. And with this question, we end up the discussion of paper one. Now we'll be switching over to paper two.